Over the next nine days, I and 20 other Canadians travel overseas to immerse ourselves in the history of the First World War, questioning our relationship to the past and the process, and returning to the idea of community that brought us to Belgium and France in the first place. So how did a group of teenagers from across the country end up on the other side of the Atlantic? The Vimy Pilgrimage Award is awarded to 22 youth between the ages of 14 and 17 for their contributions to their communities. It involves a fully funded nine day educational experience in Belgium and France to learn about the First World War, which is how I ended up here in November of 2022. But first, let's rewind to the beginning. Five months before we left, we were introduced to each other online and given materials to help prepare us for everything we were about to learn. I, for one, became increasingly excited with every new development and was counting down the days when I'd get to meet everyone in person. Hi everyone, I'm Kristen McCollum from Cambridge Bay Nunavut and I'm here at Atusha's house in Edmonton. The next morning, we arrive at the airport to board our flight to Montreal. I'm Rosie and I'm with Ashutha and Kristen. I'm from Schoenberg and we're waiting to go aboard, so it's really exciting. Yeah. We're at the Starbucks in Montreal. Say hi. We're about to board to Brussels. I'm just gonna wait on you guys to post them on Instagram. I just, just got off the plane, I'm tired. Um, it was a long flight for me. I choose to love it though. I love the flight. I'm running on adrenaline. I love the flight. We got on the bus and after a quick stop at the Atomium, we arrived at our hotel in Maison. We just got to our room. Boop, boop, boop. We went to our first Commonwealth Cemetery that day and took in the sight of hundreds of near identical gravestones. We would be visiting countless cemeteries over the coming days and we discussed everything from the different symbols to the stories of the people buried there to the present day reactions to the graves and so much more. We're having breakfast. Okay guys, update. Les quatre est c'est bon. Le porc n'est pas bon. We were absolutely drenched that morning and witnessed firsthand some of the dreadful conditions that people faced during the war. We then visited the city of Ypres and explored the different shops. About to go up those stairs. This is a certified selfie moment. Let's get. We went to the Christmas Truce Memorial the next morning and saw some replica trenches. Each day was super jam-packed with visiting different sites, going on guided tours, visiting museums, and having conversations with our chaperones and our peers. We visited a section of the front lines where the two sides were shouting distance from each other. This was actually one of the designs that was submitted for the Vimy Memorial, but ultimately wasn't chosen. We returned to Ypres to eat dinner and attend the Menin Gate ceremony. Hi, I'm Rowan. I'm from Nova Scotia, and we are currently sitting down to have some amazing Flemish stew. Do you have a little bit of wine to make? Because it doesn't start until eight. Hey guys! Welcome to France! Hey, we just got to our hotel in Perron. Hey guys, I am about to do an interview for CTV Edmonton. And I am doing it in our very well lit hotel room. And feeling kind of nervous. How are you feeling? I feel good. I'm happy that we're here. I feel it's important. Hey 
Hey guys, what did we just do? Taco colonialism is stretched. It's great. <laughs> yeah. A really good stretch today. Yeah. The Beaumont Hamel, the caribou. There's everyone else. Um, we just finished our interview. How do you think it went, Achuta? I think we totally slayed. I think we ate. Bell Memorial. It is so grand. None of us know what the assignment is. Throughout the week, each of us gave presentations about a particular topic regarding the war. They ranged from its impact on climate change to the role of women on the front lines. My group was given the topic of Indigenous peoples and Canada's war effort, and we worked on it before we left. What? Kristen, are you prepared for our presentation? Oh, I have my book, so... Yeah. I'm really looking of. forward to Kristen's presentation. Because oh, it's our, it's our presentation. presentation. This is a clip of everyone participating in an activity that we prepared. Um, as you can see, we're loading some uh, headstones onto the machines now. Um, it used to be that these headstones were all originally carved by hand. So obviously when the commission first started, um, we didn't have machines like the ones that we're loading up now. So skilled stonemasons would carve all of the details onto these headstones by hand. We were also tasked with researching a nurse or soldier of our choosing and got to present our biography and reflection at their gravestones. It was great to be able to personalize the program this way. So Private Lushman, or as he was known, Lal Singh, was born on January 15th, 1885 in Punjab, India. I struggled to hold back tears for the rest of this, so I'll leave that part out. I had a lot of parallels to the soldier that I chose, and that was the case for a lot of us. Kristen did hers on an indigenous soldier, Zhang did his on a Chinese one. It helped us all connect to the history, even though it feels like it happened so long ago. We also created grave rubbings with charcoal, which we got to take home with us and symbolically bring the individual home to Canada. There was a lot of anticipation for our second to last day. It was Remembrance or Armistice Day, and we were visiting the Vimy Memorial, which is the namesake of the Vimy Pilgrimage Award. The Canadian National Vimy Memorial was unveiled in 1936 and commemorates the significant contributions of Canadian soldiers to the Battle of Vimy Ridge in April of 1917. Where are we? We are at the Vimy Visitor Center. How do you feel, Samuel? Oh, it's a great experience. Yeah. Very, very beautiful monument. It hit me as we left Vimy for the last time that we had barely scratched the surface in learning about the First World War alone, but the door had been opened for further curiosity. I was also pleasantly surprised with how critically we had been able to talk about our history. Our conversations ended up being more reflective than they were prideful. How do you feel? Sad. We're leaving the Vimy yeah. Memorial for the very last time. We're just leaving, like, yeah. soon. It's really sad. This is beautiful. This yes. is, like, a really good way to end. Wait, so... Wait. The person getting the medal is something about the experience. That way you get both, right? We're going to our final stop before the airport. Indian and Chinese cemetery.
How do you feel about it, Loic? Great. It was surprising how close all of us had gotten in the course of nine days. These people were the reasons that we had been able to have such formative conversations, and I'm so grateful that we were able to connect so well with each other. We said goodbye and left with a community of friends across the country. And oh yeah, apply for this award.